anamorphic disc width through 24p, 4K DCI and more. The new Sony firmware update for the FX3 and FX30 is here. Hi guys, I'm Johnny from CineD and Sony just announced a major firmware update for its popular FX3 and FX30 cameras. Let's take a close look and see what is new. So this specific firmware is significant for both cameras in terms of usability and flexibility on set or when running and gunning. I have here with me the FX30 and basically whatever I show is also applied to the FX3. So let's go through exploring the highlights of these new firmware releases. The three significant updates are the addition of in-camera disk squeeze capabilities when working with anamorphic lenses, the 4K DCI option and the addition of true 24p recording. In regards to working with anamorphic lenses, up until now one will see a heavily squeezed image in the EVF and LCD, which is of course making it less than ideal to evaluate how your framing will look like. Now it is possible to view the image properly, but with some limitations that I will mention later. Before continuing, I would like to highlight two basic facts. The first is that the FX3 and the FX30 both have a 3x2 sensor and when it comes to video recording, it currently uses the 16x9 portion of it. The second is that Sony wanted to allow a very common cinematic viewing workflow and they chose fixed two 39 to 1 aspect ratio markers. Based on those two facts, with this software update, Sony is introducing two disk quiz modes only, 133 and 2 times. So, in order to activate the new disk quiz mode, all you have to do is navigate to Setup, Display option, and go to Disk Quiz Display. There you can choose the desired disk quiz factor according to the lens you are using in order to get the correct image aspect ratio. While disqueezing the image to 1.3 is fairly straightforward, when it comes to 2 times disqueeze on a 16x9 sensor, one will get a very wide viewing mode. So Sony included a visual border to simulate a 2 39 to 1 aspect ratio for easy framing matching, especially when working with cameras that are allowing open gate recording and using 2 times squeeze anamorphic lenses. It is worth mentioning that this new disk quiz option is applicable to the camera EVF, LCD and HDMI output. So currently there are only two disk quiz options, 133 and 2 times, and what we are missing is additional settings for 1.5, maybe 1.6 and 1.8 anamorphic lenses. Hopefully those can be considered by Sony in future software update. Next is recording in 4K DCI mode, which is great to have when filming content that will be projected in theaters. And this brings me to the next enhancement, which is true 24p recording. That will go hand in hand with filming in 4K DCI, next to helping when filming for projects that will require some visual effects. So to summarize those three major updates, in my personal opinion, it seems as if Sony is catering to those who are using their higher-end cameras like the Venice, Venice 2 and FX models, making the FX3 or FX30 perfect big cameras on larger scale productions. For us independent filmmakers, I would have loved to see additional disk quiz options, especially as lately we are enjoying a greater selection of budget-friendly anamorphic lenses. Also, it is worth noting that there are some limitations when enabling the disk quiz mode. For example, one cannot film in S Cineton, only log picture profile is supported. So for someone who wants to experiment and film with anamorphic lenses without implementing post color correction, this new viewing option is not possible. Next is autofocus and stabilization, both are disabled and on top you cannot assign a custom button to uh, activate or deactivate this viewing mode. Last but not least, we made this slide to help you with understanding when 24p, 4K DCI or UHD together with the disk quiz mode are actually working together since not all combinations are possible. Ok, let me highlight the additional software enhancements found in these firmware updates. Breathing compensation function on the FX3. S and Q modes can now be switched via a press of a custom button.
and camera ID and reel number are the same file format as Sony's high-end cameras for greater workflow effectiveness. So here you have it. Those are the new enhancements and for those who are wondering if the Sony FX6 will ever get similar treatment, I can say that I don't know. But please keep in mind that the overall camera design of the FX6 is very different from the alpha mirrorless like FX3 or FX30 cameras. So I'm not so sure that we will see anything like that anytime soon. But again, I hope to be proved wrong with my assumption. Guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.